Simon Community Northern Ireland exists to support those at risk of homelessness or those experiencing homelessness. As well as our 22 projects across Northern Ireland, we also have complementary services to support those most in crisis. The Home Team was created in conjunction with work with the Housing Executive to support those living in our hostels. We had to recognise that hostel living isn't appropriate for all people that walk through our doors. So it's creating an opportunity for those who maybe hostel living isn't suitable for, that we can look at the solutions that are best for them to get them into somewhere that they can call home. Sam so County Northern Ireland and the Home Team work with people and families from all walks of life. They all have different stories to tell and different set of needs but also a different set of dreams and aspirations. So it was quite obvious to us that a one-size-fits-all solution was not going to suit everybody. So we've been working with Jared for a number of months and he has a unique set of needs. So we realised that we had to come up with a creative solution in order to help him find a permanent home. My name's Jared and I am homeless. I've worked all my life. My father got ill, came out of work to look after him and through a family breakdown I became homeless. I was sleeping in my car parked up in different parts of the district and one day the police came and seen me in my car and thought I was drunk and breathalyzed me and then they realised that I was homeless because all my clothes and stuff was in the car and explained to them what had happened. I didn't know where to go and they put me on the same community. Now I'm living with the same community, it's, uh, so I've got somewhere to stay but the, the downfall is I have to meet my son in the town because I can't bring him to the same community, that's one of the downfalls of being homeless. For someone like Jared, there were no other options. He was facing a life in temporary accommodation, which wasn't only unsuitable for him, but also unsuitable for his son. We met with Jared and we discussed what was most important to him. What were his needs? Previously, our work would have been matching someone with a house, rather than matching the needs of that person with that property. Jared cared for his father, so we wanted him to be close to his family, but we also wanted him to have the facility where his son could come and stay. Since being introduced to the same community, they've put a roof over my head, gave me somewhere to live, got me off the streets. I didn't know that these people existed until that police officer that day. Through same community and the housing executive, they've put me in touch with Carlene and Ruth. We work for a home team. They were explaining and having a chat of my absence and, and where, where I stand and, and how I could actually be housed and what's, what is my best absence. Jared just moved into his new two-bed property and he's really enjoying the time reconnecting with his son. He's also started to look after his father again and enjoying spending that time with him. He's able to focus on the future and getting back into employment and working again and using his skills. He now has a safe and secure place to live and he really feels as if he's a part of a community. Having a home is a basic human right and Simon County have housed over two and a half thousand people in temporary accommodation over the last year. Ending homelessness is a priority for Simon County and we just have to keep working at it, securing permanent accommodation for one client at a time so we can ultimately achieve our goal. The family a suitable accommodation two bedroom house close to my family and where I can bring my son to at the weekends of somewhere I can actually call home.